Hello YouTube and hello Ninth Age community. This is Charles with Evershade Gaming and I've got another Ninth Age battle report. This is a friendly 4500 point game of Ogrecons vs Highborn Elves. I do have my Ogrecon list in the video. Um, I'm not going to oops, not going to necessarily uh, dive all the way into it. Um, still playing with Mammoth Hunters. I still really enjoy them. Uh, I, However, this list I'm trying a... Uh, Sort of Mammoth Hunter on a Rock Rock, and then uh, no BSB, Big Blocker Bruisers, Mercenary Vets, Consecrated Pulses, another Rock Rock. Uh, pretty much some monsters, some shooting, um, and some magic. No BSB, but I got some uh, Banners of Discipline uh, in a couple key places, really one key place. <laughs> we played uh, Map A2, Foothill Outpost, These Soft Borderlands. Oh, Borderlanders. My apologies. These soft Borderlanders knew of our approach when their fields burned and their herds scattered before us. They even mounted a pitiful resistance, loosing arrows from roofs and thickets, yet we poured from the hills in the forest and fell upon their hamlet. So we took all that they had and more than they could spare. None will stand between me and my glory or my lords. Ptolemeo, Shield Cleaver, Chosen Warrior of Suglug. Oh, very nice. Well, here is looking at the Ogre Khan's deployment. So, we played Dawn Assault and Breakthrough. So, I, uh, my opponent got to pick table sides. Um, I want to say I dropped one unit. <laughs> Maybe a, uh, I think... I think I dropped my uh, scraplings kind of right there in the middle, and then my opponent dropped his reavers, and then I just decided I wanted to go turn one. <laughs> I don't know, I know it was kind of entertaining, you know, keep them drop them, but then I mean, he also wants to shoot too, so we kind of both wanted to shoot. I figured I might just be pushing him back, but I think that's okay in this uh, scenario and for this deployment. So, starting from the left, going to the right, I've got my dog uh, hiding behind my rock rock, and the rock rock that's unfinished, unpainted, is my character rock rock. I've got a Scratapult, 10 Bruisers with the Banner of the Great Grass Sky, 6 Mercvex, Banner Discipline, Pistols, uh, they have MR2, and poison uh, because I, I like accurate, but sometimes I feel like you know you you want to move with those ogres. So a lot of times you're just gonna be close enough anyway. And I don't know. Yeah, I, I'd rather have something else. Um, the plate arm would be nice too. Yeah, there's other other good ones too. Even swift stride wouldn't be bad just to have them. Twenty scraplings with bows, scrapping foreman, musician, maybe even a banner. Uh, another scratapult, a giant, and then another rock rock with a crossbow. Here's my opponent's deployment. Uh, he hasn't uh, scattered his Grey Watchers yet, but he's got five Lancers on his on uh, the left of the picture, 20 Archers. He puts his Pyromancy Master in there. He's got um, seven Grey Watchers and then a uh, big block of like 25, 30 Spears, 24 Sword Masters in front of a Bolt Thrower. His white, uh, his royal huntsman prince on his chariot, five reavers touching a field, another block of 24 plus sword masters. Um, I think they have the relentless banner company, and the one in the middle has the banner of a calming, and then he's got another bolt thrower. And then he, uh, scouts his other unit of, uh, uh, gray watchers in the field, vanguards over his reavers, and we're ready to go. So I do get turn one, and uh, I have Thaumaturgy, I have Wrath of God, Hand of Heaven, Smite the Unbeliever, uh, Cleansing Fire, and then Children of Umi. Uh, so I throw Wrath down next to the Spears and the uh, and the Swordmasters and the Bolt Thrower. I figure even if he really pushes forward aggressively, I might still touch the, the tail of those and maybe get rid of the Bolt Thrower. Uh, I shoot the that's the only spell i get off in the magic phase i shoot a scratapult and get a nice hit and kill looks like the half of uh, actually a good chunk of that sword master unit so that was great 
Um, and then I get a partial hit over here. I think I kill two or three spears, but hey, that's not bad. Uh, every little bit counts. And this was a, a picture of movement that I missed. Um, move my rock rock uh, around the impassable train. Um, I only felt like I had to do this because if I, if I didn't kind of zone over here, those lancers were just going to move behind the impassable and, and threaten to score the rest of the game. Uh, move my other rock rock up behind the uh, next to the building, giant next to the building, uh, the Scratapults just pivoted so they could see stuff, and then the Bruisers char uh, kind of move forward aggressively, and the uh, Merkvets just move forward to shoot their pistols. I want to say they take some shots at the Royal Huntsman. He was the only thing in range. They do not do any wounds, unfortunately. Um, oh, I did. I did have uh, one unit of trappers that uh, they did. They move forward. Um, and, you know, they scouted 18 inches, they vanguarded, and then they moved forward, and they ended up getting charged by the spears. They trapped us for us, but in hindsight, I did it very poorly, um, because my opponent was able to charge me, and, uh, yeah, I just, um, probably could have done that a little bit better. I feel like I'm still getting used to playing with trappers. And then other than that, my opponent is, uh, I would say, fairly equally aggressive. He brings up his reavers to chaff my rock rock uh, with his prince uh, looking to charge next turn. He relentless companies his sword masters. He moves his uh, BSB and, and middle sword master unit up. He you know he charges the spears into the uh, um, scra uh, scrappling trappers, and then he moves his archers up so they're not shooting out of the forest, and then. Uh, He's going to put as much bow fire as he can in certain places. Uh, he does get flaming swords up. Um, it's tough to stop that or Miladies. Uh, they're both good spells. Um, but that was the only real spell he got off. I think he might have got a pyroclastic flow, but it did like a wound or two somewhere. Uh, he does get, or the Wrath of God doesn't come down, which is unfortunate. Would have been, this is the, I feel like it's always the turn to come down, though. You know, everything's close. Um, when it's been hurt some elves everywhere. Uh, yeah, so we go into Ogre Khan's turn two after this. Oh, uh, this is actually pick of the shooting. Uh, he mostly picked on the bruisers, um, but honestly, I, I feel like they weathered it fairly well. Um, I think he put a couple wounds on the giant, uh, which was okay too. Yeah, all around, uh, not a very big shooting phase. He kills all but one trapper, and then he sticks because he's in a forest, um, so that was funny. Uh, although, not what I wanted, to be honest. Um, although it would have been bad if he fled, it could have been, it really could have complicated it. So, it, again, I was not playing well with him, but this kind of worked out, kind of didn't. We'll see how it goes. So, on my cons turn two, I charge the bruisers into the lancers. Um, one, to get rid of them so that they can't score. Uh, but two, I'm kind of got my eye on overrunning into the archers. Uh, there's a, you know, a flank charge from the spears, but... I don't know. I'm feeling pretty confident if I go into those archers. I, there's, they're just so, so many, you know, there's so many like soft like things I can do to them. Stomps, impact hits. Um, that I feel like I'll still tie if not win combat. Um, so I felt pretty confident about that. I, I moved my merc bets up pretty aggressively too to shoot at the sword masters. Um, just because. You know, I kind of wanted to get a short range. In hindsight, this ended up being a bad idea. I could have stayed back a little bit farther. Um, but, uh, yeah, because I don't think I was trying to get closer with magic. And then my rock rock, um, I want to say I chose to charge, although I could have failed a frenzy check, and I had to charge the reavers. And um, I do single mana shenanigans with the giant and, you know, line it up on the corner of the sword master so that he can't wheel past anything um, and he, he can charge, but if he does, he gets like two sword masters in, uh, which is great. Uh, cause that's exactly what the giant wants. Keep, put a couple more wounds on him and let him go to town. So, um, I get hand of heaven off, uh, uh, on his prince here, but, uh, uh, even though I do four wounds and it gets past his armor save, he makes four up four ages saves. So that was pretty, pretty good on his part. I uh, do get the cleansing fire up to do the wrath weapon, and between the wrath weapon and the bows, I kill five sword masters, so that was wonderful. Um, and then between one of the scratapults hitting and then the um, merc vets, we whittled on this middle sword master unit significantly. This is kind of an overview of the moving.
uh, kill the Reavers, no problem, obviously. Uh, take care of all the Lancers. Um, and and uh, I think this is showing the charge, but I do end up making the overrun of the Archers. So he's also going to charge here, too. It's going into Highborn Elves, turn two. Um, as you can see, the Wrath of God still did not come down. The Wrath of God coming down last turn would also have been incredible. Uh, this Swordmaster unit could all could actually be dead at this point. But he charges, I stand and shoot, and kill six more, which was awesome. So he's only got four left. Uh, although four Swordmasters in the BSB is actually still quite lethal. <laughs> um, so makes it here, he makes it here. He also charged here, so he, he, bring, he, brought, he brought them in. Um... Yeah. Uh, end of movement phase uh, looks like this. Um, and then we go into magic. I, I stopped flavor of Milady's. I actually felt like this was a greater threat than Flaming Sword. Uh, especially with the Combat the Bruisers, I want to do as many dam much as damage as possible. And I'm assuming he's going to do damage to me. Obviously him wounding me on fours is a lot worse. But... Uh, if I can't do wounds to him, I'm just going to lose my combat res anyway. So, uh, he gets Awaken the Beast on his Swordmasters so that they can really go to town here. And then he does get Flaming Swords up. Yeah, so it's rough. And then the combat doesn't come down again. Which, again, this time it might even, if it was short or even medium, it might have hit the Spears and the Bolter. It's just, this combat is killing me. Uh, I get a Fey Miasma, unfortunately, on my Scrad Pult. No fun. Uh, giant does what a giant does, baby, and uh, rocks up these Swordmasters. Uh, the Impact hits do a wound, and then I want to say he does four more wounds. Um, I do nothing back to him. He just I think I do a couple wounds. He makes his age saves, or armor saves, and then I fail my steadfast eight techs. So I flee. This is a bit of a bummer. It would have been just nice to hold him there another round. I don't know. Um, yeah. So he turns, he doesn't even feel like he has to deal with this yet. Um, and I guess it was going to be my turn anyway. Or yeah, it was going to be my turn anyway. Actually, yeah, it was probably smarter to move. I, I could have just marched out of his uh, Arca site. So he doesn't uh, worry about dealing with these guys right now. He's still got some shooting on the board. Uh, and this is the BSB <laughs> in that unit of four Swordmasters. So I make a terrible mistake here and decide I wanted to issue a duel with my Shaman. And my rationale was I wanted to try and mitigate some damage. Um, because, I mean, the BSP's got three attacks. He's got three attacks from another champion. He's got six more attacks from a three other sermon. So he had nine attacks on the BSP. I want to say he does, like, nine wounds with all his attacks. He just doesn't roll any ones. Um, and just blows through, like... I want to say he blows through it at least. I want to say, yeah, I want to say he does like nine wounds. Maybe eight. Maybe there's one left in the back rank. I didn't take a picture. Uh, and then the duel, he does nothing to me. I make my four pages of saves. And I do nothing to him because he's got a two-up armor save. And I've just got paired weapons on my shaman. Uh, so it just comes down to a steadfast, steadfast eight check. And I fill another one this turn. Um, and this is a list without rerolls. So I unfortunately break, and the BSB catches, and uh, yeah, lost my Shaman and my three or four remaining Merc Bets. So we killed the rest of Swordmasters, but yeah, I should have just, um, I should have let the BSB do another three wounds on the unit and try to do much damage back, but yeah, I really shouldn't have got so close. That was the, that was where I made the biggest mistake. Uh, this goes just fine. Uh, we actually tied. Um, which he didn't do that great wounding uh, with his spears. Um, my impact hits went great. Um, my attacks went really poorly. I think I hit like I, I said I had a ton of attacks, like twenty or something attacks still, and uh, I think I hit like five times or something, something really low. And then I wounded like four more times. So the my attacks weren't great, but then the stomps all all hit and wound, all wounded. So that was great. Um, even one wounded to the side, which was actually the one one more combat res we needed to tie it up. So that was great. And then on uh, my turn three, my Rock Rock character is charging the Spearman, uh, which is awesome. Um, these guys uh, broke and fled from the uh, 
shaman in his uh, merc vets breaking. The scraplings went off the board. The scratapult is still running. It did not rally. Uh, the giant uh, did overrun and catch the swordmasters last turn, so put him in a good position. Charges bolt thrower, which he does. It takes it off. Runs off the board. Almost debated not running off the board, but um, that prince might have had a, a decent charge. It was like a 17 or something like that. Um, yeah, as you can see, we mop up the spears um, just between, I mean, you know, it, it, he, I still had my bruiser champion alive, so there wasn't even really a realistic option to... Um, uh, duel me out. So my bruisers end up killing his archers to the man, and they kill the wizard master. I put like you know like six attacks on the wizard, and I just end up killing him. Um, he has not any protection, and the rock rock character just kills like fifteen or something like that between impact hits and maybe more. There's like five spears left. Um, the spears get away. I pursued, but the spears got away. Unfortunately, so that's where we sit right there. Uh, just at this point, obviously, there's not a lot left on the board. <laughs> a lot of things have died. Um, I turned my bruisers um, because I I wanted to score with them, and I didn't want to get too close to the wrath of God, which is it's still in play, unfortunately. Um, and I felt that I uh, would be better off trying to track down the. Uh, seven or so gray watchers on the left side of the board so they they face that direction the rock rock character is just you know it's so tough but i'm just trying to think what i want to try and see if i can mop up or pin down but again it's tough since i, I don't really have a I you know the one scratapult is is not fleeing but that's about it and i'll have a lot of moving pieces yeah this guy's still go he's casting a couple spells but it's not really doing that much um the shooting, it really turns up, unfortunately, and whittles, uh, like, the four four and a third bruisers down to two bruisers, so that's getting pretty rough. Uh, this Scratapult rallies on my turn four, so that's cool. Uh, I don't think I'd tell him to get rid of Oaken Throne. Again, I don't have a lot to do with my magic phase. He doesn't either. Uh, yeah, so I move the Rock Rock in position where maybe I can... Uh, to finish those sort those spears up, or maybe I'm gonna try and threaten those ray watchers. Not sure. It's I guess tough. I don't want to get charged by the BSB, but um, that's I'd say I do. I wouldn't mind that, but I, I don't want to get charged by the prince. It's a that's a bit more of a tough combat. Um, even though his multi wounds don't work against me, if he charges, that could be bad. I've failed a lot of discipline tests already. Uh, the comet still hasn't come down either. Oh no, it finally comes down, and it does three measly wounds to the bolt drawer, which is a very big disappointment. Uh, really couldn't do much over here with these bruisers. They don't have a musician, they so they kind of got stuck. So uh, champion's going to eat it, and then the other two are going to flee, and we'll see what happens. Uh, that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, he's just <laughs> open throwing again. And he actually, I think it's all three spells off. I just failed to stop something. I don't know. But again, I all didn't really matter all that much. Yep, champion dies. The other two get away. The other two rally. Um, this must be my turn five. Um, move up my rock rock care. I just I can't really pin any of his things down. Um, I do move my giant up a bit aggressively to see if I can pin down the BSB this turn. He's facing the Scratapult, I want to say. Um... Yeah, I kind of have another Scratapult that's just peeking over the hill. Um, yeah, they're and they're and the Scratchers are just kind of launching like really long distance shots at the Grey Watchers and getting a hit, like a partial hit, and doing like a wound or two every now and then. Uh, I do take care of the bull thrower with my hunting spear, so that was nice. He goes into here on his turn five, um, and uh, this time he's gonna kill all those two guys. BSP just, you know, he just keeps dancing around. He puts away can be some of these guys to help them get some scrats. Um, he brings my bruiser. I think I attempted to charge like like a turn ago and failed, and and, uh, and now I'm down to a single wound on the champion. Uh, so yeah, he it moves his. Uh, he just destroyed the bruisers to a man. Turns his chariot guy to. Take down the Scratapult. 
Um, and then on uh, my last turn, I get very cheeky and I'm able to move my bruiser. He moves out of the forest, but I'm able to move him in a way where my rock rock is able to come around and shade him from the larger unit of Grey Watchers. And then my uh, Scratapult that's, you know, next to the hill fires and gets one more hit, like on a six, and kills a couple more guys. So he's got like three shots to try and finish off this bruiser on his last turn, and he, he doesn't do it. But his prince does catch this uh, uh, the Scratapult. It flees and he catches it. So he gets a little bit of points right there. And that's the end of the game, folks. So tallying up the points, the Ugar Khan scored 3,142 points. The Hobborn Elves scored 29, 14, saved a whole ton of points, keeping that one bruiser alive on one wound. And uh, yeah, 14-6 Ugar Khan victory with scoring breakthrough with a single model. Uh, very cheeky win for the Ogre Khans. Uh, thank you to my opponent for playing, and thank you everybody for watching.